All right. Hello again. I'm back. Uh, thank you for answering those two questions, and thank you if you participated, whether that would have been through the chat function or if your teacher asked you to share out. Thank you for participating. We appreciate it, and we love it. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is accessing help for academics. How do you get help in your classes like math, physics, and composition? So there are a few things that you can do, but I think what I want to say first is what what does help mean necessarily? So help could be you don't know how to access the homework. You don't know how to access the homework key. You don't know how to get to the OneNote or the Google Classroom or the Pear Deck, or you're just confused about a lesson and you have no idea what you're doing, or are you going to miss a day where there's a test and you want to know and you want to ask, what do I do, right? So all of these questions or worries or issues that are happening that are preventing you from doing your work in class, how can you get help? All right. So first option, email or teams your teacher. So each teacher will, might have something slightly different if it's an emergency during class and you need help during class. So that's something that you will learn about next week, but know that for that class you need help in, if you need help in math, you should email your math teacher, okay? Email or teams based on what they say they would like from you. Um, your teacher for that class is your first line of defense. Uh, your teacher can do a couple things as well. They can sign you up for tutoring. They can sign you up for small group help. Uh, they can send you extra help, extra work, more problems, more practice to do, more videos or articles to read uh, to help you with the lesson. They might be able to talk with you after class if, it, if you needed help accessing materials. If you needed, let's say you got lost using Google Classroom and you don't know where to go, having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them after class so they can show you exactly where you need to be going, okay? If you are confused, reach out to them. We are here to help you and we wanna make sure you feel ready to go. Uh, the next thing you can do is email or Teams your advisor. Advisors are also there to help you, right? So let's say you needed help setting up an account on Google Classroom or on OneNote or you just need help with a lesson in general. Your advisor will most likely know how to help you set up accounts and access materials. And who knows, your advisor might know the subjects that you're struggling with. Let's say you had homework questions. Your advisor might be able to help you, okay? Um, your advisor is also a good touch point if you need help reaching out to your teacher. Let's say, you feel uncomfortable reaching out to that teacher for help. You don't, you feel uncomfortable sending them a Teams message or an email. Telling your advisor, hey, I, I don't know how to message them. I don't know how to email them. Or I just, I don't know them well enough. Can you help me? We can help you create an email and reach out to them with you. So that way you feel supported and you can still get that help that you need. Now, third option. Use yourself as a resource, okay? Go back, retake quizzes, cahoots, homeworks you've done if you need help with the material. Uh, you can always do that and look at homework keys to check your homework again. Uh, check out Khan Academy. There are a ton of resources on Khan Academy if you feel like you need extra help with physics. You can search a physics topic and tons of things will show up. Um, Using yourself, you just want to think about, you know, what resources have my has my teacher given me and what help can I find online? Like, can you Google some stuff? Who knows? All right. Well, now you should have two more questions to answer. So I'm going to pause my video here and your teacher will give you some instructions. 